Welcome to a new show on Power Drift called the Power Drift Forecast where we talk about what's going to happen in our lives in the automotive markets lives in the next month month and a half and all of this space is just not for me because I have other people on the show with me let me start by introducing Rona Kajinkya you already know him and when he joins the show what you'll realize is that the amount of hair on the show has not gone up even a little bit Thanks. sorry it's a it's a low hanging fruit joke and I'm very very fond of it the second guy <laughs> joining us today is uh, Varun Painter he needs no introduction Fine. at all but if my budget is low, why are we getting a chair? Tumara sofa sofa, hamara sofa chair. And the final person joining us, of course, is a person who has two names, The Auto Ninja and Rohit Pediradla. <laughs> a man who believes firmly that he will only wear black or grey because his personality is so colourful. But that's how illusions work. That is uh, Tony Stark going through chemo and uh, this is uh, the person for whom Papyrus was invented. I think that's a reference to my age. For those of you who don't know what Papyrus is in, let's just get <laughs> on with it. Because Ninja's jokes are already way taller than I am. Now, shall we get on to... We what shall. we plan to the do The topic? Here. Yes, we right. shall. Yes, we uh, shall. The biggest event that has just happened and we still need to discuss it a little bit, I think, is the Tata Safari pricing. Yes, yes absolutely. Yes, yes. I think absolutely. the pricing has a lot of gravitas to it. <laughs> yeah. You know what else has a lot of gravitas to it? The advertisement. If you all didn't know, Power Drift made the new, all new Safari ka advertisement. And Copyright. Sorry to interrupt you, but can we get back to the conversation because at some point he has to reclaim his wife. <laughs> right. Okay. So we all kind of expected the Safari to be priced somewhere between 17 and 22. 14.85 to uh, 21.45. We always get our predictions wrong. I think automotive journalists in India need to have like a swear jar of sorts. <laughs> yeah. Every time you get it wrong, you put money in it and then every year we'll do a draw of lots yeah. and whoever yeah. wins gets all that money to buy their dream supercar or superbike. But how how does it compare to the Harrier now in terms of pricing? So, if you want to look at it that way, it's around 70,000 to a lakh more expensive than the Harrier, trim to trim. So does it make sense to buy a Safari? I'd say it's a fair deal, yeah. Speaking of cars that went to the gym and did hella squats and then got a bigger booty. The Alcazar. The Alcazar. Mm. I'm so happy that Hyundai is named a car after a Tintin character. No, but really, uh, the Alcazar, if you didn't know, is the seven-seater version of the Creta. I think the design is brilliant, like way ahead of its time. Oh, yeah, 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 so beautiful yeah, 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 yeah. looking car. They've made the rear this look context, even he nicer. has a Creta and this is buyer's remorse, not the designer. It says every Creta owner ever. <laughs> Alright, so think about it this way. Imagine if the Swift had come out in the early 90s. It would be a, a little ahead of its time. The same thing with Creta, just give it some time. So 10 years hence, the Creta is going to look pretty. I would say give it a couple of years where the resale values start to show. Uh. And then it will start looking really nice to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's got okay. a fair point there. I agree. But I will still Finally. say that the Creta design is a little bit difficult for me to digest. Slightly. But uh, before uh, anything else, let me just set context. This show is just like a drive down an Indian highway where there are lots of diversions, but eventually we'll get there. Yeah. And I'm going to quickly look at what we're going to talk about next. And we're going to talk about the Triumph Trident. The Triumph Trident is going to be Triumph's newest motorcycle in India. It's also going to be the most affordable Triumph that India is going to get Bro, in the country. If they want to launch it it's next month, it will be their newest motorcycle. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that laughter came in late. <laughs> I got it a little late, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, it's going to be a love child between uh, the Street Triple and the Bonneville. Ooh. 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 I like it. I Motorcycles and sex in one show. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are going to be famous. <laughs> How do you like what? the name, man? The Trident? Yeah. Ah. I think Tridents have traditionally done well in India, so I think this one will also. Yeah. But I know a particular <clears throat> DC character who would love it. Yeah. Aquaman. <laughs> Let, let's get this back on the road. It's a 660cc motorcycle. It's a brand new three-cylinder engine making about 80 bhp. Triumph says 90% of all of its torque is always available. It has the basic electronics including traction control that you can turn off. Varun thinks it looks quite pretty. I would wait a little bit to see it on in the flesh first. Yeah. Although Triumph has been doing a decent job with styling in the recent past. And I'm very excited about the pricing because Triumph has also been nailing the pricing of their last few products. 100%. Nicely riding that whole uh, retro modern wave as well. But when you look at pricing and the roadster segment, Royal Enfield kind of killed them all with the interceptor. Oh, totally. Hands and down. I think there is a difference in the brand values of why people buy Triumphs and why people buy Royal Enfields. And uh, Royal Enfield's intention, remember, was to become the world's largest middleweight motorcycle player. This is a middleweight motorcycle also, the Trident. 100%. But when you want to go biggest, then you also attack a much lower part of the pyramid. 
Yeah. And therefore, the exclusivity value is automatically traded in to get that value, right? So I would see that there would be a slightly different customer. But once you come into a Triumph showroom and see the Trident and the price, and then the Street Twin is sitting there, and the Street Triple is sitting there, and you start calculating EMIs, I think the picture could get confusing. But let's ride the motorcycle first. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah, it's like right what now, the yeah. Scrambler did for Ducati. The entry point into the whole uh, yeah. brand yeah. is much more, uh, what do you call it, approachable? So approachable that Ducati refuses to use the word Ducati on the Scrambler. They insist that it's just a Scrambler. Just a scrambler. <laughs> but again, he has a Scrambler. He so also has I, a Scrambler. Yeah. So uh, there is a little bit of bias in play here. Mm -hmm. Yes, and moving right along, let's talk about a car that nobody here can afford, even in their dreams, the Porsche Taycan. Yeah, the car that was named after a Liam Neeson movie. Are you single or are you Taycan? Oh, man. As you can see. <laughs> Any more? Any more guys? You, you must die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we need one more. We need one, 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 one more, more bad Taycan joke. Can we get back to India's fastest EV <laughs> potentially coming? Why the Taycan is a big deal is because we have a lot of fast cars, but we don't have a single stupendously fast EV. And that's where the Taycan will So, 0 to everything. 100 will be? Less than two and a half seconds. Zero to two hundred will be. No Don't idea. worry about it because at one twenty it starts beeping. I'm, I'm not a big, I'm not a car fan, but you have driven a Porsche. You have driven a Porsche, yeah, and you yeah, seem to be yeah. like big fans of. I have a Porsche GT3. Uh, yeah, he's driven a Porsche. But, yeah. So you guys seem to be like big fans he's of. He's had one twelfth experience. Yes, <laughs> one we've had yeah. one to one, and yeah, yeah. I absolutely love Porsches. Uh, Beautiful. Wait, one hundred and twelve reminds me. There is a decimal involved in this car, isn't it? Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. nine nine two point one Porsche where evolution is so slow that we need decimal points. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move right along uh, it works, and it uh, works. next <laughs> is a motorcycle again and this is the amazing Tiger Sport 850. One second, is this like, is this like how Range Rover names their cars? Like a Range Rover Sport, Sport is actually yeah, yeah. lower down. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he's Rover. spot on. It is actually a lower down. It tiger. is actually. Okay. He's like, ah, to sport chalata hai. Mm, should have worked harder. Ah, thoda do lakh aur kamal hai. It's like uh, first class and the regular economy class in the plane. The aeros is like parda. <laughs> okay, let me give you a little bit of context. The Tiger Sport 850 was created for European A2 regulation, which is like a learner license where you need the motorcycle to be a little bit less powerful. It has a power to weight ratio clause, which is why this motorcycle was created. Mm. So the 850 has the same 883cc engine as the Tiger GT. It has more or less the same brakes, electronics, uh, wheel sizes, everything. The tires are more street oriented. It's 80, 20 street okay. and dirt. Uh, and the engine obviously is a little bit less powerful and a little bit less torque, which should also make a difference to its price. What do you think the difference in price? Was? The pricing is a little less than 2 lakh rupees. Than the Tiger Sport. 900? Yeah, than the Tiger Before everybody thinks it's 2 lakh rupees, Tiger Sport 850. Yeah, of course, no, of course not. <laughs> Between the Tiger 850 and the 900 GT. In Europe, there is a license requirement that will make people buy the Tiger Sport 850. Yeah. And I understand that. How will it work in India? Why would you buy yeah. the base model if you just pay a little bit more money? So I think the only guys I can see who would automatically think of the Tiger Sport would probably be guys who are buying the Versus or the V-Strom. And just upgrading mm -hmm. to And yeah, they are yeah, looking yeah. at the additional 2 lakh rupees getting them right, an actual right. Tiger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk about something a little more relevant to the masses. One of the highest selling cars in the country and it's a Suzuki, I don't have to say. Mm -hmm. Anymore, it's the Suzuki Swift 2021. It's got a minor facelift and uh, even the engine has changed. But, but wait one second, yeah. will you notice this facelift because he just got a facelift too and we didn't notice it at all. He had to tell us. Uh, See, he I didn't even know. Yeah. I don't think we can. <laughs> the thing that you will notice is the bump in power. It's got 7 horsepower more than before. So it's a new engine. So it was the K-Series M, now it is the K-Series N. I have a few gripes with this. I mean, first of all, why can't Maruti just go whole hog and give us a nice full facelift, like a new generation Swift, that would be nice. Secondly, why can't they just answer all our prayers and just give us a sport version? The RS. The, uh, okay, they tried the RS before with the Yeah, Bolino. with the Bellino. Yeah, sticker, sticker. That was more like a half, half, uh, halfway house. It That's really RS work. is roughly the same. Did you watch the roughly the same. Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. Everybody thinks nice. it's a road sport or some cool <laughs> thing like that. It's so hard, it's roughly the same. <laughs> manufacturers, especially Japanese manufacturers, have timelines in play. Yeah. And if it is time for a facelift, it is time for a facelift. No matter how much you beg, you will not get a full car out of it. That's right? true. Yeah, and, and the, the kind of people who are asking for a full blown, like a gen, one gen ahead car, is very niche. I'm very niche. But yeah, the point is, yeah, nobody wants it. So it's okay for now. At the same time, just let me make clear that this by no means means that uh, the Swift is a bad car. Oh, it's a great no, car. No. Even oh, with no, the yeah. small, tiny improvements that they made, it's Absolutely. Really but nice it's gotten car. expensive, right? Marginally. Dude, everything's gotten marginally yeah, expensive. expensive. That's fine. That's I, except works. for our salaries, which haven't uh, increased. Uh, apart from that, everything. Uh, the next car that we have is the new Mercedes C Class. You've already driven this car? Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I am confusing him on purpose because he's just returned from the A class <laughs> drive. And we are about to get the information on the new C class. And as you can see, he's not very classy right now. Flummoxed right now, but yeah. Okay, as I cool. said, the quality of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Downhill. Go for it. Tell us about the C class. 
Before I make another terrible joke. The newest thing about the new C class is, of course, the fact that it looks like the S class. That could be either a turn off or it could be it could work for you. I don't know. What side of the camp are you on? I'm not for the whole family look. For the C class buyer, it's a good thing because his car looks like an S class. Is that gonna put off an S class buyer from buying? Of course. I mean, why not? I don't think so. What do you think? While you think about what do you think and leave us a comment, Rohit will tell you about the A class which you just drove. Right, uh, the A class is. Uh, I just drove it in um, Goa. It was a good fun car. Really, really wanted to drive the AMG version instead of the A two hundred D that I drove. But is the AMG version coming to India? It's. It will launch at the same time as the A class, which is on the twenty fifth of March. It will also, I believe, be assembled in India. Also be oh, locally assembled. Oh, locally assembled yeah. AMG. Yeah. Wow, Cheaper. pricing's so gonna what, be yeah, killer. So what you're looking at is essentially an A class for around forty lakhs, while an AMG A thirty five will be around sixty, sixty five lakhs. You decide whether that's worth it. I'm not sure yet. And let's go from 65 lakh rupees to just about what two lakh rupees. <laughs> let's talk about the Honda CB 350 RS. Now, I think there was a lot of um, pro and con feedback on the RS because I think Honda miscalculated their launch more yeah. than anything. Else. Yes. They launched a variant, but they made it look like it was a brand new motorcycle. And then we journalists obviously took off and said, "Cafe racer, scrambler," and we threw all the cool words. Which I said it would be an understatement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the mix, and it just turned out to be roughly the same, which is where the RS word. comes from uh, if you haven't seen the video this would be a good time to not go and see the video please continue to watch this one watch that after that <laughs> <laughs> everybody's quitting and suddenly going and done what's what? the difference our uh, engagement is droop <laughs> drop what's the difference between the rs and the highness the handlebar is different the seat is different you've got different indicators the subframe is different uh, some parts of the exhaust are different or the exhaust is swept up a little more differently and i think the most important Change is going to be the tire. I think the pattern makes it feel like dual purpose tires, but Bluetooth connectivity is not there. There is no space for a USB, so that is. I mean, I don't agree with the. So does that make it cheaper? In fact, not. It's expensive, more expensive, but ten thousand rupees. About ten thousand rupees from the base variant. Yeah. So stay tuned for the story. We are waiting for the motorcycle. Uh, Honda has promised us that by mid March we should definitely have the motorcycle this time. It will not be a long wait like last time. <laughs> uh, and obviously, the video will focus on the differences between the RS and the Highness. What do you pay extra for, and how different does the motorcycle feel? We know you have a lot of questions about touring with this new handlebar seat and foot peg setup. Yep. That's exactly what we're going to try and answer. So stay tuned for that. And while you are staying tuned, let us talk about the next thing on the agenda, which is the BMW M 540i. Hey, it's the M 340i. Oh, you bought that good yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, how the embarrassing would it have been if you just continued? Ah, the 540i. <laughs> Oops. Ah. <laughs> so, how was it to drive this car? I wouldn't know because I didn't get to drive it this time. Rowan oh. was pretty much at the oh. wheel throughout. Uh, correction, I think Shumi was the yeah, one. Yeah, Shumi driving. also got to drive. He was not yeah. at the wheel throughout. I was his chauffeur for most of it. <laughs> Okay. okay, and I will tell you this: the 340i's music system is insane because you can drown out Rohan's banter entirely if you want to. We only drove it on the public road, so we experienced the performance in that little bit of a shell. But what they don't know is, I drove the prototype M340i at the Portimao circuit, which is my favorite circuit on earth. And wow. we just come off driving a series of three series cars, which all felt a little bit less driver oriented than the usual BMWs. Uh, what's the price difference between the normal three and uh, M340i and the M3? So you go from a 50 lakh to a 65 lakh to a 1.3. So that's regular wow. three M performance and then M three. M three. Yeah. The only now, caveat is there is no M three right now. The M three from this generation is yet to yeah. make an appearance. Yeah. So I think yeah. next yeah. year is when the M three comes yeah. out. Uh, stay tuned for that video. That will be awesome as usual. He will not be there, and I will be chauffeuring Ro- Rohan around. <laughs> It'll be awesome. But before we before we fire up the comment section, no, like. Everything's no, but yeah. firing the comment section is part of the engagement growth pro- process, right? Ah, so we are supposed to be saying controversial things, right? Coming back to the right? Trident. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let's move right along to one of my favorite motorcycles of mm. all, which I hope will debut in the month of March. Hopefully, we'll ride it either in March or in April, and that would be the Honda CB 500X. You rode it uh, internationally. I rode right? it in New Zealand first, and then I rode it in Malaysia, and both times I firmly believe that the best Honda on earth is not the Fireblade. It's not the Africa Twin, which is a close second. Uh-huh. It's the 500x why do you like it look it's it's a very simple motorcycle if you think about it right twin cylinder engine makes about 50 bhp has slightly tall suspension now mm. is 1917s earlier had 17 inch wheels mm. it looks like a honda it's striking but not amazing not completely looking. yeah but when you ride it everything talks to itself becomes together and it's amazing it's as talkative as me so when you're sitting on the throttle Say and going something. yeah <laughs> it's it's telepathic because if you yeah. think the 500x should be doing something right now 
it will. It's do. probably doing it already. It's oh. amazing to write that way. So once it comes to India, uh, it's probably going to come through the route of CKD, uh, which means pricing is going to be super competitive. And what do you expect the pricing to be? That's what I'm a little bit worried about because I think these highnesses are showing that Honda does have an appetite for pricing their products a little bit on the high Highest side in the big yeah, shops. So if they were to not do that, the CB 500 X is a 500 twin imported CKD and via Thailand. Hmm. Uh, the price should be to me five. Just, just under five would be amazing. Yeah. Five, five and a half would be acceptable. Yeah. But I can't. I, I also imagine that Honda might be able to do six lakh rupees on this. At which point, it'll be a slightly expensive purchase. Yeah. But like I always say, yes, the purchase is a threshold that you need to cross. Mm -hmm. But that will be one of the best motorcycles money can buy in terms of everything: city riding, out on the highway, being maintenance-free, being fun to ride, having just enough power to do most of the things that mm. you get up to. That will be an absolute killer motorcycle. Can't wait. Ronak, we should definitely try that bike out once it's. Oh, oh yeah, the, 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 scrambler, the Scrambler Twins are good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other motorcycle that is also coming and that's a good motorcycle too is the CBR650R which when we did the podcast on your first superbike turned out to be a little bit of a hero because it's super easy to own, super mm -hmm. cheap to keep and it's not that expensive to buy and they are very good deals even on the used market. That bike has been missing from the market because of BS6. The yep, Euro 5 right. models are now coming to India. We are expecting that the 500X and the 650R will arrive on the market together. Pricing will be on the slightly high side, high but side, remember yeah. it's an inline four, it makes about 90 bhp, so it is a relatively fast motorcycle, but a super nice motorcycle to ride. So I haven't ridden it yet, but hopefully with this new avatar, I will get a chance to ride it. If seniority allows me to. Are it, take it, yeah. <laughs> it's the easiest thing in the world for me to say. Take whatever motorcycle you want to go for, ride and do a story. The audience will tell you that I should do it, but that's uh, yeah, I knew, I knew this was happening. Well played, well played. Well now, played. Uh, before we hit one more diversion, let's start wrapping up this thing. Uh, the last month has already been super exciting for mm -hmm. us. Varun and I got to go to Ganpati Pule and Goa to record one video, which you will see very, very shortly. Wow. Super excited about it because we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot Amazing, of fun. Yeah. Then we went to Bhuj uh, to <clears throat> catch the run of Kach. That one I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, I think we have some amazing footage and a very, very good story that came out of there. I'm just excited that I got to ride with Varun twice this month, so I'm just the... <laughs> Sumi is really good with sarcasm, no? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we are under the table. Where were you, what did you do last month? Oh, why, thank you Sumi. Uh, what I did last month was... Uh, but it's Mostly little... drag. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, I, 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 yeah. sorry, I, I, I don't want to interrupt home. you. So what we did was we got an airstrip for a whole day and then took a couple of cars that you wouldn't really pit against each other and then just drove the living hell out of them. Mm. I'm going to say something else, but yeah. We weren't trying to establish anything scientific as much as we were just trying to have fun. Yeah, just go check it out and then uh, do comment there and let us know what and you thought about this. What that uh, concludes the four past part of the four yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. And now let's talk about the future once again, which is what we intended to do on this show, Rohit. Yeah, what season Rohit two? was essentially talking about was Signal to Signal Season 1. We are going to do Signal to Signal Season 2 and we are going to have motorcycles going up against each other. Oh That's yeah, I get to ride with Varun again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, watch the videos from Season 1, like, share, subscribe, like, you know, tell a friend about it, the sooner Shumi will get to ride with Varun. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate it. <laughs> and now let's talk about what's going to happen in April and the most exciting thing I think is the launch of the classic 350 oh, new yes. engine from the Meteor. That's not all that's happening, bye. it's called bye. the Kushak and uh, <laughs> Rowan's already driven a prototype, uh, you, the video is already up. What's going to be happening in April is the world premiere. We're not going to get to drive it right away, it'll probably happen later that month or next month after that. Like what? Skoda is like, you know, slowly dripping the idea of the Kushak into your head, Mother Pele yeah, with the yeah. whole camera. Really milking it. The Kushak will go up against the Creta, the Celtos, the Hector, the Harrier, the Safari. Oh, just a few cars then. Just a few cars, just yeah. A few cars. <laughs> no stress, no, no pressure no stress. at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's wrap up this <laughs> yeah. first edition of the PD forecast. I wanted to remind you that we are all proud Indian motorheads and if you want to wear that as a t-shirt, you can. You have to go to this website which is down here and purchase a t-shirt for yourself. They are amazing t-shirts in quality and of course it says proud Indian motorhead, can't get better than that. Yeah, there's also stickers that say the same thing which you can stick on your bike but you won't be able to buy them because we have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give away stickers, they're for us. But do leave us Agreed. a comment. If you'd like to buy stickers, leave us a comment. If there was a vehicle that you're excited about that we haven't covered in the yep. show, leave us a no, comment. No. Is there something else happening in April that's really bugging you, bothering you, or exciting you? Just leave us a comment. Just leave a comment, yeah. And if you don't have anything to say, leave us a comment. <laughs> anyway. Leave a comment. I mean, just say hi, man. Yeah. <laughs> hello. All right, I think it's time to uh, right, wrap hello. up this video. Yes. I am Varun Painter. And he'll see you later. <laughs> Do you have a sign of line? Bye bye. No, he does have a sign of line. He'll see you on the next one. I'll see you next oh. one. <laughs> I don't have a sign of line. <laughs> Bye.
uh, I'm an auto ninja and I like 